so our listeners have a little listening music. You know what I mean? I hear hey, you. Hey, this it. talk show is on the go. I'm Sunda Kroonquist, the one and only. You wish that there was another Sunda Kroonquist, don't you? Well, there's not. But I'll tell you, we're live today, and we're live doing a segment called Real People. Real people. Real people like Ruben Eduardo Bernal is here with us today. Hey, peace. Peace to you, man. Peace in the Middle East. Peace in the Middle East, That's yeah. It. Yeah, because they've been fighting for a yeah. couple of thousand years. Peace out in the streets. <laughs> Peace in the streets. Where are your streets? My streets are um, right now is uh, La Puente. What is that? That's over by um, West Covina, Covina area. West Covina, Covina yeah. area. So how do you keep in shape during this pandemic? Well, I've been uh, exercise. I've been getting real creative lately. I work off my ladders, push-ups. <laughs> um, I go to the beach and try to do some dips on the bars. So it's it's been pretty creative, and I'm starting to enjoy it. I think I'm I'm getting a better build. I think so. Yeah, been, I think so. Yeah. So I go out. I go out. I can. If I have a meeting, a ten o'clock meeting, I'll just pull over to any kind of parking lot, and and just start exercising. And people walk by and they call me show off. You go show off. Why like, well, show off? I'd rather be at the gym exercising. You know. <laughs> and looking at yourself. And, and, and <laughs> not only that, sightseeing. <laughs> That's what you're doing at the gym? Oh, yeah. You Where have do you pick to... up the chicks? How many chicks do you have? Well, I <laughs> can't talk about it, right? Keep that kind you're of in show pro. business well, now. I've been, uh, I've, been, I've been divorced for four years. I'm sorry to hear and, that. Oh, it's the best thing in life. You know? got no. It was, uh, marriage was a full-time job. Was How was she needy? Oh, yeah. I, I, I thought it was happy wife, happy life. But it, that, that she wasn't, wasn't happy? Not for me. That didn't, didn't happen for me. Why didn't you make her happy? I tried. I, I did everything I could possibly do. I bought her implants. You know? Well, which was a mistake because her Something. vagina is huge. Yeah. So <laughs> no, I'm kidding, honey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. He said he brought his girlfriend implants, which was a big, he brought his ex-wife implants, which right. was a big mistake because now her vagina is huge. Yeah, somebody else is enjoying those implants. You believe this? Unbelievable. But you vagina know? is a word that I can say on the show, so yeah. that's okay. It's a re I've heard a lot more things going on. And Talk Show on the Go is just really about real people and what they do. And I have to tell you something. This guy's done construction. What do you do in that in that Guinea t-shirt you wear? You don't know. You call it a t-shirt. What do you call it? Again, uh, a muscle shirt. Yeah, a muscle shirt. So they were saying you were showing off. Let's go back to that. So they were just jealous. Who was? The people telling you to yeah, stop no, they exercising. Yeah, they said I was showing off. I said, you know, I'm not really enjoying this epidemic <laughs> life, you know? I'd rather be at the gym exercising, not being on the streets. How does it feel now that you're divorced and you started dating again? Are you careful? Are you scared? Are you well, anxious? Well, it's it's nervous? very challenging, you know. It's 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 uh it's it's, I um it's very challenging. You know, it's a In lot of work. Ways? It's a lot of work. Right. It's a lot of work. These women are very needy. <laughs> these are needy women. Yeah, these are needy women. Tell me what ways they are needy women. Wow. Well, I, I I actually I I try to keep my um my profile age at fi above fifty. Why? So that they just because they're baby free. The baby free. Yeah. Well, I, th I, th I, I, you know, I started going out with 50. I thought, I thought it was going to be easier to try to find a relationship. Because so you're 50? No, I'm 47. But you like them? I like the older, mature women. I, oh. thought, I thought it was going to be easier to try to find somebody because it was, it was, um, I figured they'd be more mature, more calm. But I, it's, it's, it's been more challenging, you know? Do you think it's because of the telephone? It could be that. That texting stuff. Right. Or it There's could be, no communication. It, it could be global warming. Global, it's freezing out here. Well, yeah. not today, but what is with LA, by the way? You were born out here, no? Yeah, I was born and raised in LA. And where's your family from? They're from, uh, most, our siblings were born here. My parents are from Mexico. What part of Mexico, uh, if I can ask? Michoacan, Juarez. Where's that near? Uh, you know what? Is I that never, Yucatan? I, I, maybe, I don't know. I've never been to that part of Mexico. But you've been to Mexico, right? I've been to Cancun, I've been uh, to Cancun. Tijuana, Rosarito. Um, that's about it. Really? Yeah. And you speak Spanish, though, right? Yes, fluently. I do almost. I don't know my numbers after 49. Oh, really? I know 49. That's, That's it. it. And then yeah. I go 50. Yeah. I just don't know. I just don't know it. So you realize in New York... Well, actually, I speak three languages. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, let me hear the languages. Love? No. English, Spanish, and Spanglish. It's, oh, that's right, because you were born here. Yeah, so I kind of mix it in a little bit, you know? Women like to hear that Spanglish. They like it. It's yeah. that machismo shit, right? That's it. No, it's not machismo. <laughs> Forget about that. <laughs> now the women are getting big. Yeah. There's some big women out there. Yeah. Now. Do you like muscle building I, I, women? It is, like but it's, 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 it haven't really, it's, it's not, it's hard to connect. I, I've, been on, I've been doing online dating for four years. Oh, man, that's interesting. Tell me that's, the craziest thing that's oh, happened to you. I've gone out with a lot of teachers, a lot of principals. 
You know, it's, 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 I've had a woman come from a different state to come see me. She seen me online. It was a teacher, actually a principal. I mean, what are these teachers teaching those kids? Takes, but yeah. she flew out here twice from Kansas to see me. I said, girl, you can, you can, you, you pay 800 bucks to come get laid over here? I go, you could stay over there and pick somebody else up and not have to pay all that money. Wow. Yeah. So this is some serious stuff that's going on with oh, this yeah, dating that's, scene. Oh, yeah. Did she look like the picture? Oh, yeah. She was a very beautiful woman. Very beautiful woman um, down to earth. I mean, it, I would have married her in a heartbeat. But, you know, Kansas, I'm sorry. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. What would you do in Kansas? That's what I'm saying. What do you do over there? I've never been over there, but I'm like, what would you do over I there? I wouldn't want to go over there. Are there Mexicans in Kansas? Uh, who knows? They should find out. She, and we'll get over there as soon as no possible. No kidding. <laughs> I love Mexicans. I met Mexicans out here. Oh, really? Because in New York, we have Puerto Ricans and Dominicans, Colombianos, right. Cubanos. Yeah. You know, but there's not, it's not a Mexican. Right. I'm attracted to uh, Caucasian women for some reason. I don't know. But 99.9% .9 of the women that I go out with, they're Caucasian. And they're attracted to you because they want that kind of Latino. Is that what it is? That tan, that body, the tats, the whole thing. No, the I don't biker have tats. Looks. Smart. Yeah. I have one tat, and no, I, don't, I don't find any interest in tats. Where's your ink? My what? Your ink. Where is it's it? It's right here. I have, it's my daughter's name. Oh, how nice. Yeah, but it's like 30 years old. It's all faded already. Really? Yeah. Did it, did it hurt? Uh, no. It kind of it kind of pinches you when they do it, but I'm not, I don't find any interest in tattoos. Uh, my... I was going to say, if you have it on your boob, it's not interesting. Yeah. You don't want to show it off. No, no, no. That's, That's crazy because I've seen people that come to see me and their faces are covered with real ink. They've. Yeah, I've seen faces. that. I've seen very pretty intellectual women that have tattoos on their face. Isn't that stupid? It's, I think it's sad. It's very sad. They have them on their necks. It's all. Exp it's a but, sign. But that's, that's the new generation, you know? What is it? What's with the tattoos? I don't man? know. It's too much. Yeah, it's too much. They're too know. young. That's they, it. They, have, they don't know what they're doing. They're going to regret it. They're in, well, right now the world's falling apart. Right. As we know. And this right. is your first time doing talk show on the go. Of course. His very first time, Gary Shin, doing talk show on the go. I'm so glad... Gary Shin is here. I went to St. Teresa's with Gary Shin. His mother worked, was the principal. Mrs. Shin would not be with Ruben, but you never know. I'm kidding. <laughs> Your mother is so nice to me. Let me tell you this. We're trying to bring this world together. I don't know how we're doing it, but at one point we will, one day at a time. How do you think we could start with the love? You have a great outlook on life. How do you keep yourself going and you have a daughter and a divorcee? And you're, it's, and you're divorced. It's, it's challenging, but I try to keep myself healthy. You know, try to keep my mind clear, focus. Um, any neg negativity, I just, I just block it. How I, do you do that? It's, it's, it's. I don't know. I just wake up in the morning. I, it could, I, I could, I can never wake up and be in a bad mood. Negativity just doesn't. I just block it. So how did you if, get divorced? If I get, if I get a negative, I make it a positive. Exactly. You have to. Yeah. Not that much time yeah. left out here. No. Every negative, every negativity can be a positive. Just so turn it around. Did you have a friendly divorce? No, my divorce was it was very horrible, very oh, imbalanced. No. Oh yeah, dirty. No, it was it was no. I, I I wouldn't put any fuel in the fire. Okay. But she was uh, she was very I don't know very unhappy. She had challenges in life, and I thought um, money would keep her happy, S materialistic stuff. And as as we were getting older, it was just it was just it was just not working, you know. And I thought you know she wanted this, I did get her that. She wanted this. You know, whatever she wanted, she, I, I would never hesitate, you know. So I think the challenges that she had in her life and her childhood started affecting her as she was getting older. And I, I, I can count the times a year we had sex, like once a quarter if I was lucky. Because she was probably a victim of abuse at one point. That's it. And that's all happening in the home, and it yeah. breaks up marriages, it breaks up families, it makes people so crazy. Abuse is something that's going on right now because we don't have any people that are taking care of the social workers that are supposed to be taking care of the kids. And look how it results in just the total disruption of a family. Of course. Because of all the things, because you need sex. Oh, yeah. Believe are you, me. Are you a Scorpio? No, I'm Cancer. Oh, well, yeah. when was your birthday? July 12th. I was going to say July 13th, but I was pretty close. I was yeah. close enough. I close was close enough. enough. I was close enough. So, how many times do you think you have to have sex? Uh, a know. day. You know, I don't know. I, I can't. Like now that you're older, not like the 13 I I think, times I think, a day thing. I think thing. You, you, you'll find that out when you're married. If you have a good relationship, and, and you'll find that out. Me, right now, I mean, I can have sex whenever I want. That's great, right? Because yeah. some men can't. Yeah, and But now it's, and I don't want to just have sex with anybody I want. Oh, so you're looking anyway, for someone. I'm looking for okay, a relationship. Okay, nice. Yeah, so 
Well, that's very nice. Do you realize that we have a nice looking gentleman here that's looking for a relationship? Maybe. Yeah, so. Maybe comedy will do something for that. Well, you know, I'm hoping it'll it'll help me in my re- relationship. I made a f- I made a few good candidates, but it, it didn't work out. You know. What do you like in a woman what, these days? What do I like in a woman? I like a woman to be healthy, fit, sexy. Sexy. I think sexy is the most important thing. Sexy beats all. You got to oh, make yeah. it sexy. Oh yeah. Whatever it is, you have to make it sexy. Oh yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Listen, that's it's like we're one. gonna roll in the bed. We're like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but nothing beats a, a, a sexy woman. And How about I, funny? Does funny count? Oh, if yeah. she likes I, your laughs? Yeah, if she I likes your jokes? Of course, that's number one. She needs to laugh at my jokes. She has to laugh at you because, you know, people have to have a sense of humor. Oh, yeah, especially nowadays. Now they need the humor Dude, because it's, we are, yeah. we're overwhelmed. We're overwhelmed. Yeah, we're overwhelmed with so much negativity. How, to... how, do, you, how do you keep the negativity away? I don't know. When you I say just... blocking it, do you just... I just don't let it get to me. I just, you know, I just... I just don't know, but I just don't let it get to me. That's a gift. If I try to stay positive, you know, healthy. Eat healthy, be healthy, think healthy. And, and I think that's the number one thing in life, your health. And you eat three times a day, right? Um, yeah, I mean, are, are you concerned about your food? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. You I, uh, should be, right? Oh, yeah, in the morning. I, I, I've, been, I've been eating, uh, for the last past year, I've been, eating, I've been drinking ginger uh, from the root. Dude. So I cut that up in the morning. I bowl it. I do it every day. Yeah. And then once you're done drinking it, you chew it. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, that's what I do. And then I, you know, every morning I've been eating uh, cactus, broccoli, and spinach, just dry. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, I kind of push, I do like fruits, oranges, apples, bananas. Okay. In the evening, I get a little sloppy. <laughs> like what? Like uh, what? Maybe a burger, you know, french fries, mm-hmm. some tacos, you know. Why well, should do that during lunch? Always. Say, I know. Because it's, you know, because sometimes you wake up in the morning like, oh, oh, what's going on? So you got to go, you know, you know what it is. How encouraging it is to have like a father tell people to work out. You really do have well, to tell people to work out. Oh well, yeah, because we grew up not our ancestors not exercising. They were working. Working, you're drinking. <laughs> so it's, it's something I picked up, and I just I got so addicted to it. You know, it's like you need to have, and it's it's my I don't have a good a good start in the day if I'm not exercise if I don't exercise. So I don't have a good start if I don't have my ginger tea. Oh yeah. And I didn't have it today because I fell asleep and burnt the pot. Well, I got some in my truck. You want some? I carry it all. I'm crazy. Yeah, yeah gingers, that's that's the best. It <laughs> helps your joints, you know, sleep, you sleep. There's like 10 good facts about ginger. And I tell everybody about that. Okay, now listen to these facts because I'm listening. What are tell the 10 me. facts? Oh, um, diabetes, cancer, uh, what, uh, what else? How about cholesterol? Cholesterol too. Your joints. Helps your joints, inflammation. There's a few other ones, but it was amazing when there's a video on the online where it talks about ginger. It's amazing. I love ginger. Yeah, I drink great. it every day, and I boil it with lemon. And I do two ways: I chop it, and I also grate it. Yeah. I mean, I just love it, and I hate that my kids hate that I because it's a messy thing. Right. It's a mess, right? But it's so good. It's worth it. Every. But did you ever make it too hot? Sometimes, sometimes. You know what I mean? When you're like, I can eat some water in this. That's it. And I really believe that it does keep you clean. All I want to do is pee clean. I want to see clear water at this point. That's That's it. it. That's what you're supposed to do. I don't know how this came onto this, but this is what we do with real people. And this was the first segment with real people with the one and only Ruben Eduardo Bernal. And hopefully next time he comes back on Talk Show on the Go, we're going to have a lot more to talk about because we're going to have to see how we're going to hook him up with the teacher. All right, so thank you. And where can we find you on social media or not yet? Uh, well, I have Facebook. Okay, so we're going to find you on Facebook under? Ruben Bernal. Ruben Bernal has been a pleasure. And this talk show is on the go again. Thank you, Ruben. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.